Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome to Daily's 2A News. You know, every once in a while there's good news for the Second Amendment, and today is one of those days. This is a story coming out of the state of Texas, where Texas has passed HB 957. What's HB 957? Well, it's the Suppressor Freedom Bill. So basically what the Suppressor Freedom Bill does is it smacks the face of the NFA. The NFA, which we all know is completely unconstitutional. Well, Texas understands that and has decided that suppressors made in Texas are going to be legal for purchase because the state of Texas will no longer help federal enforcement of that particular NFA item. This channel is proud to be supported by the USCCA. The U.S. Concealed Carry Association helps responsible Americans like you prepare for what happens before, during, and after an act of lawful self-defense. USCCA members get life-saving education, expert training, plus defense liability insurance. These benefits provide more than 500,000 USCCA members with the peace of mind that they deserve. Plus, a USCCA membership is always risk-free with their 100% money-back bulletproof guarantee. Membership is truly an investment worth exploring. Click the most important link you might click ever down below and activate your U.S. Concealed Carry Association membership now. So in order to make sure that I have everything correct, I always have my notes here. And what I have is a screenshot from the GOA on this bill. And I want to point out a couple different things. The current law and what this bill does. So current law, uh, to own a suppressor, one must comply with an onerous set of federal rules and regulations to include a $200 tax stamp and a lengthy wait, sometimes over a year. Uh, that's because of the National Firearms Act of 1934. The state of Texas criminalizes owning a suppressor outside of federal regulations. That's Texas Penal Code 46.05A6. Okay, so uh, as you can see, that's as it currently stands, right? Well, this is what this bill does now. And again, it's on its way to the governor's desk. It repeals Texas criminalization of suppressors possession apart from federal regulations. It establishes a class made in Texas suppressors that must be manufactured in Texas from Texas made parts and must stay in Texas and are exempt from federal regulations. That means if you have a Texas made, 100% Texas made, parts made Texas suppressor and you live in Texas, go buy the suppressor. You go buy it, there's no tax stamp, there's no wait, simply buy the suppressor, you take it home, you can use it in Texas and they're not gonna help federal law enforcement. Gives a path to secure uh, a dick, a dick to Okay, let's try that again. Gives a path to secure a declaratory judgment on the constitutionality of this law before someone manufactures made in Texas suppressors. So what they're saying is that not only is this this bill and if this law is signed by the governor going to allow people to buy made in Texas suppressors in Texas and use them in Texas, but it also is going to add to the fight against suppressors in the NFA. So basically what they're saying is by Texas defying federal law on this and people actually being able to purchase Texas made suppressors in Texas, it's going to give a, a substantial boost to our fight against the the attack on suppressors in the NFA and possibly hopefully one day help us overturn the suppressor ban that is currently listed in the NFA and all the regulations that go along with it. Now I've read the bill itself and you can see all the strikes that they have in there and how it's going to change current Texas law and everything that's going to happen with suppressors. But the fact of the matter is, I just love the, the fact, uh, I love the fact that Texas sees that suppressors aren't like what they are in the movies, that suppressors are actually just sound dampening devices that bring it down to a level where it might not hurt your ears. And that's not even the case for all suppressors. If you take a suppressor and you put it on something and it's still supersonic and there's a lot of pressure, it's going to be loud. You're probably still going to have to wear some type of earmuff or earplug, some type of hearing protection on top of that suppressor. The suppressor just lowers it some decibels. It doesn't make it silent. It doesn't make it super quiet like you see in the movies. This is not James Bond. This is real life. And so when you use a suppressor, all you're doing is simply making it safer for your ears and for the ears of people around you. And Texas has recognized that. So I think that's a really big deal. If you want to read HB 957, I will put a link down below so you can read it yourself as well. But good job, Texas, on this one. Anyway, thank you guys. Have a great day.